really happy to be here right now. We just pretty much drove to a dead end in the road and just hiked here. Hopefully we don't get eaten by a bear or something. I mean, if you watch the video, that means I'm still alive. Of course, I brought my trusty old bear spray right here. You know, hopefully it can fend off any attacks or not. I and mean, when you're out here, you gotta fly extra carefully. Um, you know, watch your step. There might be like horse shit. And look at the ground here. If you land in this, I think it might ruin your day. You might have to go home and take apart your motors. Still sort of new to this, but you know, I'm learning as I go. Uh, you definitely need longer antennas. So you see how long these are? These are from TBS. These are perfect for long range. And what I'm putting on here is, I mean, this is optional. This is a true RC Bard pole. I'm using a nano diversity uh, receiver. So there's another, there's another Immortal T down here. So you just, you know, it's really good for range. So this Chimera, the Chimera Pro BNF has uh, two antennas. So it goes straight to an air unit. And you know, this way it makes sure you get really good goggle reception and multiple angles. And when you fly, you wanna make sure your goggle can see your drone at all times. Don't fly behind any object, especially when you're like a kilometer away or two kilometers away, or you're gonna lose your connection to your goggles guaranteed. So a couple things before you go full send LR. I mean, you gotta pick up one of these babies on iFlight. This will give you at least, you know, depending how fast you're flying, probably maybe 10 to 15 minutes of flight time on a Chimera. iFlight sells these Crystal HD patches. They also come with these stubbies on the top here. With these combined, as long as your head's pointed in the right direction, which is towards your quad, and you don't go behind too many objects, especially like a solid mountain, you can go pretty far. I highly recommend them. The Chimera Pro comes with a really good GPS unit, one of the best I've ever used. Uh, it locks onto satellites very quickly. I use these Kevlar battery straps from Rotor Lab FPV. Can't remember the size right now, but they're perfect to hold a big battery like this one. I find the iFlight ones a little too short. Some of the customizations I've done to the Chimera Pro is I've added eight chip LED arm lights, adjustable in color, and I changed all the screws to 7075 aluminum, which saves 20 grams or 25 grams, something like that. And it looks cool too. You know, I wanted to give this Chimera a really cool stealth bomber look. iFlight sells this handy tool as well. I use this all the time to just put on my props and it also has like a two millimeter driver and a 1.5 millimeter driver on it. So in case you gotta do some work on the field. The last quad I fully sent, I lost it. I lost the GoPro 10 as well. You know, this, this hobby can be expensive, but it's actually really rewarding too if you make it home. And plus the bonus is you got some good footage out of it. And it's like memories, right? All right, here we go. Let's do this. Every time I fly medium range, long range, my expectation is I'm gonna lose it. So if I do crash, I won't be surprised. But you know, the goal is not to crash not to lose reception. You know, like the flight might look boring, but when you're flying it, like you're so nervous. It's crazy. Anything can go wrong. Like if I crash across the river, how do I get it? Everything has to be perfect. All right, 14 satellites. Let's take off. Let's take a look, make sure my GPS is working. I'm just gonna be low. Just make sure my GPS is working. Yep. All right, let's go. Let's head for that peak. I hear an airplane, I'll try to stay low first. I don't wanna hit an aircraft.
as high as possible. So pretty here. I'm going to do a quick once around just to see where my location is. Okay, you see where it sticks out a little bit, the mound? I think that's where we're at. Okay, it's pretty obvious, the cuts in the forest. Wow, that mountain's kind of far. I'm always keeping an eye on my go uh, reception for my goggles. I trust the crossfire quite a bit. But the goggle range, that's the hard part. Altitude. Yeah, toggle range came back. I don't think I'm going to go for the peak. It looks farther than I thought. I'm already at 2.3 kilometers. I think I'm just going to go behind. I'm just going to hit this peak here and slowly dive down. I'm just going to follow. Still got lots of battery left. Got to fully trust your equipment during LR missions. I'm at 3.3 kilometers. Okay, reception's not good. All right, I'm gonna turn around right here. Let's just start. Oh, so nice. I see myself. Full focus. Oh shit. Oh fuck, I'm scared. Oh fuck. Jeez. Oh, they better go higher. Reception's dying. Go higher, go higher. Oh, reception's back. That's scary. Wow. I'm such a noob. I think those trees were blocking. Let's try to go this way. I'm still 2.55 kilometers away. Let's look for that cutout. You see how far I am? So I dived a little too soon. But you know, that's good enough for me. I can always come back another day. I used up 2,000 mAh on my battery, it's a 4,000 mAh. It's good enough for me. Let's go home. That was scary, I almost lost my reception. I mean, GPS home, uh, GPS return home, I mean, it works, but if you're flying on mountains and there's a mountain in your way and it's coming home, it might crash into it. So that's the dangerous thing. All right. Oh, look at that grassy field. I wish I lived there. Beautiful. Oh shit, my reception's going bad. 
Lift up, lift up, lift up. Wow, look at that. Whoa, we should be flying from there. <laughs> oh, man. All right, do you see that loop? That's where we are. That big loop, so obvious. I love these landmarks. Makes it easy. Okay, we can see ourselves now. I'm just gonna dive down. To hear the quad. Let's do some shit. Past us. Still got lots of battery left. Oh, look at that. Should I gap that? Oh, shit, there's someone camping here. All right, I'm um, gonna be careful. There's people in there. It's I secure my quad. Here. Means we're here. Where am I? Let's orbit myself. Still got lots of battery left. Let's go check out this area. See the landing pad. I'm gonna land on my buddies. <laughs> oh man, totally missed. <laughs> I can't, I can't see. Fuck. I, I can't, this one. I can't see my landing pad. Hilarious. All right. Yep, I'm super sure I'm as tall as a weed. Let's check the GPS. GPS good. Goggles on. It's taking forever to fly home. I'm gonna stay nice and low. I don't wanna get in trouble. All right, let's... Okay, we have 17 satellites. Low. We'll catch the aircraft down here, right? right? I'm just gonna explore the top of that mountain there. This is a smaller battery. I don't want to push it. Let's just climb this thing. I'm gonna swing around and try to get the sun. simple flight. But if things go wrong, I won't be able to get my quad. 
risk here. Towards the sun, maybe after this tree. Let's go. Let's fly. Let's fly along this path. Ooh, perception not good. All right, I can see myself. Oops, doesn't like it. Lots of trees. Ourselves. Alright, I'm gonna we're over there. We're right there over there. Center. So I still have a little bit of battery, so I'm just gonna mess with this here. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested in an iFlight Chimera Pro today, I have some affiliate links in the description below and all the other little accessories that I recommended. If you purchase any of them on the iFlight website, it gives me a small commission and it helps me out a lot so I could keep bringing this type of content to you guys. The iFlight Chimera Pro is one of my favorite long range quads. It's a very stable and powerful platform and the wind cannot phase it at all. So you know, if you want to do this type of flight, go for it. If you have any questions or comments, write it out and I'll answer them the best I can. I'm not a long range pro or anything, but you know, let's learn together. See you on the next one.